Well, hidey ho there, neighbors. Welcome to Mr. Rogers' Wolf Den. <laughs> well, now, welcome to the Wolf Den. This is Captain Dave's Sport Fishing YouTube channel. But when I'm sitting here with this behind the Wicked Edge Gen Pro 3, it's quality knife sharpening. Jacksonville, Florida. Yes, I wear many a hat. You got to these days. And that's sort of going to be the topic of this little, I don't know, not going to be about knife sharpening because nobody cares about that, but I do. And the reason I do is because my mom just dropped these off yesterday, I believe it was. Okay. I just did this one. This one literally had no edge at all. It might have been as like the back side. They had zero edge. And I got this small little um, Zwilling made in Germany. It's got like a little rust or something on it. And this is a Zwilling. And this, this is a high dollar one here. This is Chicago Cutlery. But this is a friend of my mom's who I, I, I think she's, he said, my mom said, don't make him too sharp. You know, Irene, or what, I don't know what her name is. You know, she's 89 years old. Yeah, we don't want Irene cutting her fingers off. But really the topic of this story is, is this is just beer money right now. I mean, doing these three knives, beer money. You know, at least that's what we used to call it. I don't know what them kids call it today. They call it fentanyl money, methamphetamines money. I don't know what they call it. We used to just call it beer money back in, you know, and it's still beer money today. Or it could get a lot more serious than that. Instead of sharpening knives and charging you know, $25 for three damn knives. Okay. I mean, that's basically what this is going to be. Had to, you know, reprofile this one. But to stay on that topic of beer money. Yeah, I mean, have you noticed? This is something that I noticed. And I'm not one of these, I'm not one of these big shopper guys. You know, but people used to poo-poo the living hell out of Walmart. You know, they used to poo-poo Walmart like there was no tomorrow. But one thing Walmart has is what reminds me of, and let me grab it, because I forgot it. I forgot what I was going to use as an example. Walmart. Okay, I drink PBR. And you know, you don't even find, see, the cheapening of the world. And I, I don't know. I do not know if four, well, I'd have to figure it out because I just haven't done the math. So I might be talking out my ass. But what is more? Six pack of 12 ounces. I got to do the math. I just haven't done it. Or a four pack of 16 ounces. I haven't done the math. <laughs> Sorry. But you notice there's hardly six packs around anymore. You can hardly find six packs. So to use an example about Walmart is I don't poo-poo Walmart at all. You go in to get like a six pack or a four pack of 16 ounces versus the grocery store, the regular old grocery store that's actually closer to me than the Walmart. And that 16 ounces and a four pack of PBR will be $5 or more. $5 or more, I believe, last time I was there. You go to Walmart and before Sleepy Joe was what they call president, <laughs> which he isn't, back in the day, uh, just, you know, a year ago or so, 
you can go into Walmart and get them 16 ounce PBRs for three dollars and sixty something cents. Now they're four dollars and twenty seven. So that's four dollars and twenty seven cents for the exact same thing that's in the Winn Dixie grocery store, the plain old just standard operating grocery store, which is five dollars plus, right? So there you go. What do they got? As we know, same thing with milk. Oh my God. I bought a gallon of milk at just a grocery store. It was like $5.09 or 10 cents. And you go to Walmart and what is it? Just the last time I was there, it was $3.60. It's called buying power. Walmart has the lock down on buying power. Well, it reminds me of this. This is just the outdoor collection for 2022 of Boker Knives. I mean, can you believe this? And this is only one of their catalogs. They got knives in here that are $1,500 handmade knives. I mean, you know, the big deal is talking about Microtech and the SOCOM. And, I mean, if you've been watching any of this stuff, um, Blade Show past weekend. But, I mean, look at that. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. But that is gold-colored Damascus on a boker knife with wood in, 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 inlay, you can probably see this picture better, but this one's gold, this one isn't. And it's steel that's been turned into Damascus from this right up here, which is the triplets. No, the tripits. No, no, turpits. Turpits, T-I-R-P-I-T-Z. Which was one of the largest battleships in the entire German Navy. Fifteen hundred dollars. Well, you can go buy a Microtech that's fifteen hundred dollars also. So it's all in here. But then you can go all the way down to a Boker Magnum. And you can buy a knife in here. And this is MSRP, okay? This is retail. You can go all the way down, and go buy a knife that is $16, $16. So what, I just bought this. Of course, I won't do a video on it because nobody's gonna care. But I just got this Boker Magnum off of a forum slash knife sales place. I got one, it's an automatic though. It's a Magnum, they used to call this a, a Magnum Speedmaster. It's a Magnum T, right there. That, that silver one right there. It's aluminum handles, and you know why I got it? There's my EDC one and done. Just did a video on this that got flushed down the memory hole of YouTube because nobody gives a shit whatsoever about it. But very, very similar. Look at the handle. I'm going to try to show you. Look at the handle of that black one or that silver one. It's got the same kind of grooves in it. Different blade, same button style up here, of course, right? So, in the video I did about this and making this Microtech, the one and done, I said that there was companies out there kind of copying this one or 
this one, Microtech, was copying these people. I don't know which way it goes. But I just got this for $30. Now, granted, it doesn't have LMAX steel. What they have? They got, I don't know, 420? No, 440C. 440C on that. But one thing I like about Boker, and thank you to Orwalk, the number one contributor in my entire channel, he turned me on to Boker a year ago. He kind of turned me on to Boker. This is just one of their catalogs. They got numerous catalogs. So, the moral of this story is, Boker is kind of like the Walmart, in a way. They're kind of like the Walmart for knives. And me, I'm a guy here sharpening knives for my mom's old lady friend. And what am I doing? I'm earning beer money. I'm doing everything I can to earn beer money. Now, I won't be buying beer, but I just bought that knife in that catalog on this other place for $29 or something. And this is a $25, probably, knife sharpening job. So what it all boils down to is that's how, you know, that's the only way I can kind of pick at being a knife guy. I mean, my one and done here, that's an expensive knife. That's an expensive knife. But just think about it. They got power to have numerous catalogs like this. I mean, they got kitchen cutlery. You want kitchen cutlery. They got executive EDC knives. You want it? They got it. They, you want a $500 collector piece? Only $500 made? Inlaid with gold carbon fiber? They got it. So, I sit and I watch YouTube and everybody misses, a lot of people miss the mark. You know, it's all about... I, I had customers that, that used to live and work in Japan. And the overriding thing that they used to tell me when we'd be out fishing all day about Japan is it was a real one-upmanship society. And I mean, I got stories to tell you. I can tell you what this uh, customer of mine, Jeff, used to say. Um, and I mean, that's the reason why I can find a damn near non-used, brand new, in the box, Daiwa Ryoga JDM reel at half price. Because somebody bought it. Because they can't just go out and fish with a, just a cheapy reel. They gotta have a great one, even if they're not into fishing. He gave me all these scenario examples because he lived there for years and years. His kids went to school there. He was married to a Japanese woman. He spoke fluent, fluent Japanese dialects. He used to work for the Japanese stock market or something. I'm a Walmart kind of guy. I mean, I'm going to go there because they got the buying power and the best prices. And it's funny how in all of YouTube, and maybe I'm not watching the right channels, but nobody talks about this because, oh, there's, it's all about certain companies and all these Chinese knives, right? These Chi Now, of course, they have knives made in China, Taiwan. All over the place, Germany, United States, because that's how they can sell those knives to you at a great cost. But 
I look at that catalog and half of this catalog is affordable for me. So here we are making beer money or making boker money. That's how it goes down at Captain Dave Sport Fishing Quality Night Sharpening. Eh, it was just a thought. Just a thought I had while I was sitting here saying to myself, I'm reprofiling, I'm sharpening, and this is just a $25 little job. But what am I going to use that $25 for? Well, I already done spent it this morning. I bought a $29 knife. <laughs> so, you know, that's how things go with me. I don't, I don't know. Is it? I don't know how it is with other people. Because people don't tell me nothing. I don't talk to nobody. I talk... The, I talk to my customers on my boat more than I talk to anybody on earth is people on my boat. So, all right, enough rambling, but that's just some story time. I'll see you on the next whatever. Thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up because guess what? This one will just get... <laughs> flush down the YouTube memory hole just like the rest of them.